Welcome back. And the next thing we're going to do is start our Vault server. So we're going to make a dev server, which is pre-built in, pre-configured. It's useful for local development, testing, and just kind of checking stuff out. It's definitely not very secure. Everything's stored in memory, um, and Vault is automatically unsealed. You can optionally set the initial root token, but uh, we'll just go through some simple stuff here. Uh, Vault operates as a client server app, so the Vault server is the only piece of the Vault architecture that interacts with the data storage and backends. All other operations are done via the CLI to interact with the server over a TLS connection. Okay, so let's start to interact with the Vault server running in the dev mode. So all you have to do is do Vault server, and then I'm just going to do dash dev to get started. So this will give us our Vault server configuration, IP, port, listener, all that other stuff. Uh, let's see here. What have we got here? Dev mode. You may need to set the following environment variables. Okay. I mean, I can do that. The unseal key and root token are now displayed below in case you want to seal slash unseal the Vault or re-authentication. Um, yeah. So because it does listen on localhost without TLS, it automatically unseals. We'll be able to see these right away. Um, again, don't do this in production. <laughs> okay. But we will go ahead and, and export this. So I'm going to launch a new terminal. And I'm going to export vault, just like it says, ADDR equals. And then this address. Boom. So the Vault CLI determines which Vault servers to send requests to using this uh, Vault ADDR environment variable. So we can save the unsealed key somewhere. I'm just going to open Notepad and stick it in there or something. Let's just do that. Let's just go copy pasta. I'm deleting all of them are done, so don't worry about me sharing all my secrets all the time. <laughs> I, d I do it quite often. Um, Anyway, okay, so now we need to set the vault token. And that will be this root token right here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to export vault token equals that guy. Should put this in quotes as a string. And then we're good. So to interact with vault, you have to have a valid token. Um, if you set this environment variable, it's a way for the token. Uh, it provide to provide this token to Vault. Um, we'll go through an auth tutorial at some point where you can use Vault login with the token to authenticate with Vault. So now let's verify that this is running. So let's do a Vault status. I can see it's still open on this side over here. There we go. So we're going and it's successful. Um, if you don't get this, you can just restart the server and try again. The only reason that would not work is if you're running a dev server and going through, like if you've been through this before and you've already got one running or, or whatever. So anyways, let me know if you have any questions. If not, then we will go into the next section, which we will actually create our first secret.